In today's video, I wanted to show you how to add a video gallery in Squarespace. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Louise of solopreneursidekick.com. I put out new videos every single week all about making the tech in your online business way easier. So if that is something that sounds good to you, make sure that you hit subscribe down below and that you hit that little bell icon so you get notified every time I post something new. All right, so here's how to add a video gallery in Squarespace. Okay, so the first thing that is important that you know is that you can't actually upload your videos to Squarespace. Instead, you need to first upload them to a service like YouTube or Vimeo, and then we can embed it to your website so that it displays on your website. Okay, so I have three videos pulled up here that I want to add to my site. So let's go into my website. Now the first thing that you're going to do is go into edit mode. So click on pages and then scroll down to the not linked section. So basically what we're doing first is creating the gallery and then I'm going to show you how you can add this wherever you want on your site. So you're gonna click on the plus sign and then select gallery and let's just title this videos. And then what you want to do to add your first video is click on the plus sign right here and click add video. Now all we need is the URL for our first video. So I'm going to go over here, then I'm going to click share, copy the link here. So this is just the link for my video. I'm gonna go back into Squarespace and then paste that right up here. Now it's going to automatically bring in the title of the video as well as the video thumbnail. So great. I'm going to click save and publish. And then I'm going to do this two more times. And now we have a gallery page. So you can actually link directly to the gallery page itself, but I want to show you how to be able to add this gallery on any page. So we're going to go back into pages. I'm gonna scroll down to the not linked section. So I'm just putting it under the not linked section so that it doesn't appear across your main navigation up here. So now I'm gonna click on the plus sign, select a regular page. I'm going to title this example and just start off with a blank page. So now because we have already created the gallery itself, we can now add a gallery block to display our videos on any page that we would like. So to do this, you're going to find the gray insert point, click on that, and then you will see all of these different gallery blocks. So you have four options. You have the slideshow, carousel, grid, and stack. So let me just show you with the grid layout going to click on that and then you're going to select use existing gallery. Now from here we're just going to select videos which is what we titled our gallery page and as you can see this is automatically going to display our videos. So now what you can do is go over to design and you can adjust your aspect ratio here. So mine is already set to widescreen it's possible that yours will default to square and look like this. That's totally fine. Just come in here and match the aspect ratio. It's likely going to be widescreen for you as well. Then here you can determine if you want to show the title or not. Then this is how many thumbnails per row. It's currently set to four, but since I've just added three, I can move this over to the left and that's going to change it to three across. The padding is the space in between your videos, so I can increase that if I would like, but I'm happy with where it was. And then you can determine if you want them to play just in this small area here, or if you want it to create a pop-up so that it plays full screen. So let me just demo that. So for example, so this is our video gallery in the works. If I click play right now, it's just going to play my video right in here for me. Okay, or we can change it to the light box. So I'm gonna click edit, edit again, go back into design and this time select light box. And you actually have a choice between a light overlay or a dark overlay. 
Um, let's go with light overlay. So now when you go to play your video, it is instead going to pop up full screen like this. Okay. And the light overlay part, they're just referring to this side section here. So that's your option there for your grid. Then what you can do is you can change the style of your entire gallery. So let's say you wanted to do a slideshow instead. You can absolutely do that. And again, each option is going to have their own editing options like we just did for the grid. So just make sure to go through these. So you have the option between this slideshow, the carousel option. So this one here allows you to um, kind of, you know, scroll in between your different options. Stacked, of course, is going to stack them on top of one another. <laughs> and that is it. So I definitely prefer the grid. I'm going to put it back, click apply, and then hit save. So you can add this gallery in wherever you want on your website. So because you have created this first initial gallery, I could have it on this example page. I could also go into my about page and add in the gallery here as well. Just remember to go through the styling settings. And that's it. That is how you create a video gallery in Squarespace. If you have any questions at all about this, just leave it for me in the comments below. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope that you liked it. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and leaving me a comment down below. If you would like more help building your Squarespace website, definitely click the link in the description. I'll also leave it above here for you to grab a free trial of my online course website, The Wows. This is my easy step-by-step -step system to help you create your website from scratch. So super excited to see you over there for the free trial, and I'll see you guys soon with another video.